Here are some chimes for these troubling times. When each of these chime buttons is pressed, it plays a different chime sound. The system remembers the pattern of the chimes that's played. Then a second person can come along, click on the test button and try and replicate the chime pattern. A message at the end indicates whether or not they were able to successfully replicate that pattern. Let's see an example. After those four moves, now we click on test. The second person would be using this to try and replicate that pattern. Success. If, however, they are not able to replicate the pattern, we get a different message at the end. Let's train with a different pattern. And now we go to test, so a second person would try and replicate that pattern. Oops, I got it right again. Let's try it one more time. And then try and replicate that pattern. So in this case, the message indicates I did not get it correct. So at the bottom, the sequence of moves is shown here, although we can hide that sequence. So you can cheat by seeing what the sequence is. You can also use it for debugging to help yourself as you're developing your program. When you click on reset, it resets the move number here to zero and makes this button go away. This is actually a button that's an overlay or a label. No, sorry, it's a button that's an overlay on top of the other buttons. And that's what prevents you from continuing to play once you've either succeeded at the end or have uh, made a mistake in replicating the pattern. So here, if I click on this, you'll see that the move number goes to zero and then the history of the sequence of moves is also blanked out and reset to be a single blank as, as shown like that. And if I'm playing along and change my mind and I wanna reset, this again is initialized to single blank and then this is reset to zero.